Welcome everyone, I'm Bill Jadopoulos, the host of the Amfish Fishing Vlog Series. Doing a little video today on um, panfish. Um, many people are out there with their kids, uh, this is a great little thing. I've got my, uh, my light action uh, set up as well. It's just a little spinning, spinning combo set up. Um, I wanted to show you a very simple, simple, simple rig for panfish. I'm just going to let it a little bit of line here so I can actually get this done because it's really bright out here. little more line. Okay, so the rig itself is very, very simple. This little pink fabric right there. Hopefully I'm getting that right on camera because it is really bright, so I'm turning it to see, see it. That is an actual bobber stop. And um, these just come in a little bit of the straw. They're tied on there. You feed it onto your actual line and you just pull the fabric right off. And once you pull both ends, it makes that little knot. And the beauty of this is it stops your bobber. So I'll show you the actual rig, but this can actually move up. Now you moved it down there. You can move it back up to where I moved it from. So it allows you to go up or down. And it allows you to actually monitor your depth and set your depth. Next little part of this rig is this little bead. Hopefully I'm getting that on camera as well. So that bead gets to that bobber stop. It stops, can't go any further. This is a slip bobber. Most people just have the regular ones with a little spring on the bottom that load onto the line, but this is a strip, sorry, a slip bobber. It's just got a hole in the front, hole in the bottom, and it goes right up and down the line. So I'm gonna, I gotta show you this upside down because it's the only way to really get it is. That's everything. You got your bobber stop, the bead, and then the bobber itself, and it stops. So I've got this set probably about, I'm gonna say, conservatively two and a half feet. And here's my bait down here. Just a little jig head. A little hook on it and just a little uh, a minnow style bait. I'm going to try and get this shrink this down and actually show you the full image on camera. But there's the bobber stop itself. So when I cast it, if I have it at that depth, that's what the rig's going to look like. If I want to move this up, just grab the bobber stop, move it up, and again, once this hits the water, you'll cast it more than likely. It'll be like this when you're casting it. But once this all connects up here, there's the bait a foot and a half down, and there's the bobber stop and the actual bobber. It's a great little rig um, in style because it allows you to fish different depths. So if you're fishing, I was just over there at, near that island fishing for some panfish. Uh, I was catching a bunch of rock bass in two to three feet of water, so I only had my line set down uh, probably, I'm going to say, about a foot and a half. Then I moved over and uh, I was catching a few crappie on the other side where it was a little weedier. And when I moved over, obviously the depth was a little bit different in the water, so I just moved my bobber stop up another foot and a half, cast it back out and started catching some of the crappie as well. So again, it doesn't take a, this isn't um, an expensive setup, number one, just the setup itself. Um, but the rod, I mean, this is a very light action uh, combo that I got, uh, I think it was about $30, so it doesn't take much. Light action, lots of bend in the rod tip. And then you get a little pack of bobber stops, which are inexpensive as well. Nothing, uh, we're not talking anything extraordinary on pricing. So bobber stop usually comes with the bead as well in the package. A few of the slip bobbers, a couple little jig heads, a few little jig heads, maybe a variety of some whites and greens and blues, and just some little minnow baits. Um, just anything in that one, one and a half to one inch range uh, is perfect. Um, but panfish is great. Like I said, uh, I came out here for musky fishing. Um, way too hot all day and I've, I've seen a few fish haven't been able to catch any so I resorted to just enjoying a day of catching some panfish and it's been great I mean I caught probably caught at least 20 to 40 fish just around this little island so um again I want to do this video it's a great little uh setup for anybody out there going out with their kids and even if you're just out there as an adult and you want to enjoy um, a little bit of pan fishing it's great you can get into school them and catch like I said 20 30 40 50 60 fish in a day so uh thanks for tuning in guys see you next time